alteration of normal blood flow تكلمنا على laminar blood flow in normal condition تكلمنا على stasis and turbulence uh, uh, as contributing factors to uh, thrombosis <clears throat> okay so stasis and turbulence uh, what can result from stasis and turbulence so disruption of the laminar flow and bringing platelets and cells into contact with the endothelium uh, prevent the dilution of activated uh, clotting factor by fresh flowing blood. Uh, it will also retard the inflow of clotting factor inhibitors and also promote endothelial cell activation resulting in local thrombosis and leukocyte adhesion. Okay? So these are the effects of how, um, so this is how stasis Okay, so again, so how does stasis and turbulence uh, contribute to uh, alterations in the normal blood flow? Uh, first, they disrupt uh, laminar uh, flow, bringing uh, platelets and cells close to the endothelium. Also prevent uh, dilution of activated clotting uh, factors and also retard the inflow of clotting factor inhibitors, uh, resulting in hypercoagulability of the blood, which I think if also, it will promote endothelial cell activation resulting in thrombosis and leukocyte adhesion. So that's why it's two-way arrows when I showed you the, the triangle, okay? So from example of turbulent stasis, uh, ulcerated atherosclerotic uh, lesions, uh, abnormal arterial dilation due to aneurysm, abnormal heart valve, um, uh, hyperviscosity syndrome. Patients who have uh, polycythemia have increased resistance to flow. Uh, do you know what is polycythemia? Polycythemia. Okay, if you zoom in here, you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to see it. Okay, so I'm going to see it. بالضبط high high red blood cell mass so high number of red blood cells okay so this will lead to what we call hyperviscosity syndrome okay and so also in addition not only increased number of red blood cells but abnormal shape of red blood cells such as patients who have sickle cell anemia uh, they tend to have uh, hyperviscosity and they tend to have occlusion, so these red blood cells uh, occlude the vessels and also uh, uh, through the process of uh, stasis, okay? Stasis and turbulent flow. Type, what is aneurysm? So Hina, Hina, just to show you an illustration, so this is normal mitral valve, normal mitral valve here, and this should be terrible valve that I show you what I'm the mitral and this is the تركزت ممتاز كويس انت الان كانك بتطالع في الهارد فالفز من فوق ها من فوق من فوق الهارت سو يو سي هير ذا ايورتا سو ذيس از ذا ايورتا هير ها هذا البلمونري ترنك هنا هنا البلمونري ترنك هذا البلمونري ترنك اند ذن يو هاف ذا ايورتا هير هذا ايورتا اوكي سو in some people, what happens is that this aorta gets dilated, okay, abnormally dilated. And this abnormal dilatation, we call it aneurysm, okay? And what's the meaning of aneurysm? Aneurysm in the nafsal vessel at maddit, like in a three layers, lissa mawduda, okay? Tarifu, uh, a genetic condition uh, associated with um, uh, aortic aneurysm. مارفن ممتاز مارفن مارفن سيندروم مارفن سيندروم هذول لانه عندهم مشكله في الستركشر اوف الاستيك فايبرز رايت سو ذي تند تو هاف اورتيك انيوريزم اوكي وهذا مثال هنا جست تو شو يو مايترال ستينوز سو 
these patients will have um, a tendency to uh, thrombosis. And how does that happen in patients who have, let's say, mitral uh, stenosis? Ahadi gidi rigulli ish al-adla' illi virtuous triad bitkoon affected wi yifassilli fiha shuya? Yani adkurli al-corner wu ish bisir. Illi yibghi sharik, ana mumkin addeelu al-mic. Ma fi mishkila. Nismao. Mien yibghi? عبد الرحمن تبغى كونتريبيوت؟ بعد مايك طيب اوكي هو هو ايلس وونتس تو طيب اوكي هو ايلس وونتس تو كونتريبيوت هو هاز هيز مايك وركينج Okay, okay. Okay, okay, the mic. Okay. I'm trying to unmute the AK, but for some reason, it's not working. بس ممكن تعيد السؤال لانك تطول لك ممكن تعيد السؤال. اه السؤال طيب ما دام انك انت على المايك وصوتك واضح حقيقه ممتاز ابغاك تقول لي لما تكلمنا اول على الثرومبوزز تكلمنا على فيرشوس ترايات صحيح؟ ايوه طيب شايف الاكزامبل اوف مايترال ستينوزز هنا؟ ايوه ابغاك تشرح لي كيف الثرومبوزز يحصل؟ كيف الثرومبوزز؟ Just put in mind the virtue, uh, tri the corner of the virtuous triad. What will happen? So what happens in mitral stenosis? يعني له علاقة بالturbulence of turbulence of blood flow. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So what happens in mitral stenosis? The valve orifice is the narrowed, right? No, okay, yeah. So what will happen when the valve orifice narrows? Uh, blood flow is less and less okay. blood flow. Is... Blood, blood flow will slow, right? Yes. So there will be stasis and turbulence, right? Yes. And so when there is stasis and turbulence, what will happen? And in the endothelial injury. Why endothelial injury happen? Uh, because uh, less blood flow is uh, traveling to the. Uh, Okay, no, because in turbulent flow, mm -hmm. in turbulent flow, in, in okay, let's start. In laminar flow, the blood, the plasma is on the periphery, while the red blood cell, platelet, and white blood cells are in the center, right? All right. So in sluggish or turbulent or slow flow, what will happen? Platelets and cells will be able to touch. The periphery. The periphery, اللي فيها. ال ااا ال endothelia. ممتاز. وال endothelia مش حيصلو. ااا يي حي injury يعني. حتفك. طيب لما يصلو injury إيش حيصلو؟ ااا clot. حيصير activated. activated. Yeah. يسبب ال thrombosis. وال endothelia cell. and so the endothelia cell. الاندوثيليال سيل لها دورين متناقضه تقوم بها في نفس الوقت خلاص <تصفيق> من ناحيه لها دور انها تمنع انه البليتس تلتصق فيها أيوة. من ناحيه ثانيه اذا صارت اكتيفيتد حتشجع البليتس انها تلتصق فيها <تصفيق> فدائما فكر فيها انه الشيء ممكن يكون ضده. اي اوكي الشيء ممكن يحصل ضده خلاص ونفس البلاير زي فاكر حكايه مين السله الثانيه اللي ممكن تادي دبل رولز؟ 
في الانفلاميشن عشان اقرب لك اياه Um, I don't know honestly. Uh, <تصفيق> does it have anything to do with the uh, with the blood vessel يعني؟ لا 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 ما له علاقة بالblood vessel بس أنا بسألك سؤال على سيل ممكن يكون لها دور دورين في نفس الوقت بس ممكن تغير الدور هذا وتسوي دور ثاني. على سبيل المثال أنا كنت أبغاك تقول الماكروفاج. اه كنت بقول الليكوسايت الماكروفاج من ناحيه فاجوسيتك سيل صح؟ وتشجع الانفلاميشن لكن على الناحيه الثانيه في الريبير ايش تصير؟ بيركروت ال شو اسمه بليتلتس اي ثينك هي هذا في الانفلاماتوري رول يا ان هيلينج The role of the macrophage will be anti-inflammatory. حتشجع ال healing وال region ال healing وال fibrosis. عرفت كيف؟ تبي تفكر فيها تفكر فيها زي زي لما يكون عن عندك gear. هل gear يخلي السيارة تروح فين؟ يا تروح للأمام أو للخلف. عرفت كيف؟ ف سيميلر نفس الشيء. Got it. So let's go on next. So polycythemia and sickle cell anemia. I talked about this already. So patients who have polycythemia have high number of red blood cells. Uh, and uh, polycythemia can occur in different uh, multitude of conditions. Um, طبعا هنا الconditions هذه اللي هي pulmonary fibrosis, core pulmonary اللي هو right sided heart failure. Uh, with renal disease. <clears throat> so what, what will happen in these conditions? The conditions are mainly pulmonary fibrosis core pulmonary is characterized by hypooxygenation. Okay, so the bone marrow will try to produce more red blood cells, right? Patients with renal disease also can have polycythemia. Although the الناس اللي يكونوا في ال end stage renal disease the red blood cells حقتهم عددها بيكون أقل لأنه ال kidney what's the hormone produced by kidney that encourages formation of red blood cells erythropoietin ممتاز excellent okay So, خلصنا من the second corner of virtuous triad. Now we go to hypercoagulability. So, what is hypercoagulability? Alteration of coagulation pathway that predisposes to thrombosis. Can be either primary or secondary. Primary means that people are born with this abnormality of coagulation factor. Secondary acquired. Acquired due to different reasons. So, there is this balance. Uh, in the blood between uh, pro-coagulant and anti-coagulant, okay? في uh, الهيموستازيز المفروض يكون قوتهم متساوية لبعض عرفت كيف؟ لكن in thrombosis what will happen إنه um, uh, pro-coagulant or coagulation factors will um, become stronger than uh, anti-coagulant factors, okay? والريزلت المحصلة اللي تحصل إنه بيصير إيش؟ Uh, we go to causes of hypercoagulability. We mentioned can be either primary or secondary. So primary causes. Fia shia rare or fia shia very rare. Al shia al common. Al hiya deficiency of factor five or mutation in factor five. Mutations in prethrombin gene. And also mutation in methyl tetrahydrofolate gene. MTHF اختصاره rare conditions deficiency عفوا deficiency of antithrombin 3 deficiency of protein C and S deficient 
okay? Acquired causes of uh, thrombosis, there are high risk and low risk. High risk causes, uh, prolonged bed rest, myocardial infarction, atrial fibrillation, uh, patients who have extensive tissue damage, such as due to burns or fractures or surgery, cancer patients, patients who have uh, prosthetic uh, heart valves, uh, patients, uh, so the سؤال المرضى هذول اللي عندهم high risk of thrombosis ايش uh, importance of knowing that they have high risk of thrombosis ليش مهم انا اعرف to prevent how do we prevent occurrence Okay, يعني anticoagulant is reasonable. لكن واحد مثلا على prolonged bed rest, ايش حنخليه يسوي؟ حنخليه يقوم بسرعة بعد العملية، ما حيقعد على السرير طول الوقت، صح؟ Someone who has atrial fibrillation, they will treat the atrial fibrillation. Okay, and you might consider giving anticoagulants to some people to prevent thrombosis. So what are the drugs or type of drugs we use uh, to uh, prevent um, uh, thrombosis in patients who are high risk for thrombosis in random hypercoagulability? anticoagulants in the Okay. Heparin, warfarin, or fractionated heparin. You have to put in mind here in one of the side effects of the heparin, in the heparin, although um, uh, prevents thrombosis by making blood uh, more uh, less coagulable, okay, it can induce um, uh, thrombocytopenia, decrease in the number of platelets, okay, decrease in the number of platelets. Uh, طيب. Last one is antiphospholipid antibody. And what is antiphospholipid antibody? أحد عنده فكرة. What is antiphospholipid antibody? Okay. So patients, patients who have systemic lupus erythematosus, they tend to produce many different types of antibodies. Some of these antibodies are called anticardiolipin and antiphospholipid antibody. So the problem is that with these antiphospholipid antibody and anticardiolipin antibody, they induce thrombosis by endothelial cell injury and also by making platelets more, um, um, uh, more activated, okay? Giving you more tendency. Type. Low risk conditions, needle in nephrotic syndrome, oral contraceptives, smoking, pregnancy, uh, eclampsia, and sickle cell anemia, Adola low risk hypercoagulable states. Okay, good question. So if there is thrombocytopenia, how, it will, it, how will it increase the risk of thrombus? So there is decrease in the number of thrombocytes, decrease in the number of platelets. However, there is what will happen in no Coagulation factors will increase, okay? So, and also in addition, these low platelets are abnormally functioning platelets. So, initial platelets handy are low in number, they tend to aggregate together because they are activated. So, when we measure them by doing complete blood count, we will realize that the platelets are it already aggregated together in the patient. Clear? Nice concept to understand. 
Okay, so uh, clear with this slide. I will go forward. Any questions? Sickle cell anemia, we know that abnormal uh, red blood cells, they have sickle shape. لا هو هنا دقيقة هنا بيتكلم على الجينيتيك فاكتورز ذات كوز هايبر كوجلابيلتي السيكل سيل انيميا كوزز هايبر كوجلابيلتي لكن بمعنى الهايبر كوجلابيلتي اللي بتحصل عند السيكل بيشنت هي نتيجة الديفورمتي اوف ذا ريد بلاد سيل لكن الكوجليشن سيستم عندهم الكوجليشن فاكتور الانتي كوجلنتس ار نوت افكتد جاوبت لك على السؤال؟ Okay, clear. I wrote the answer to one of your colleagues here, but I'll come back to you again. Okay, clear. Okay, hello. Clear, okay, let's go on. So, um, we get the causes of hypercoagulability, so a mutated uh, factor 5. What is the problem mutated factor 5? If I want to... I slide this in the actual... I coagulation cascade. Do you want to put the coagulation cascade so I can understand how this is Should have it here somewhere in the office. Let's change the share. New share. New share. So I want to share with you uh, ADB. That's right. Okay. So let's go to the uh, hemodynamic hemostasis. Yeah, so you see this? Is it clear to everyone? Okay, 
طيب ليسن تو ذس ال ميك ات سمبل فور يو ها عشان ما اعقد لكم اياه وحقول لكم اياه بطريقه يو ويل نيفر فورجيت ات باذن الله تعالى سو ذا كوجليشن كاسكيد كونسيست اوف ديفرنت بروتينز اوكي اند ذيز بروتينز ذير از ثري باثويز في اكسترنسيك باثوي اللي يحصل عن طريق التشي انجري اوكي زي اللي لما احد يصير له انجري due to a prick or uh, in a car accident okay um, so and also there is intrinsic pathway the intrinsic pathway who will be mediated through hegman's factor فاكرين هيجمان فاكتور في الانفلاميشن اوكي through هيجمان فاكتور طبعا كل الباثويز هذه تجتمع في المنتصف and activates a, a factor 10 okay a factor 10 طبعا البروتين بجسمك ما تبغى اكتيفيت طول الوقت صح تبغى يكون اكتيفيتد وين يو نيد يو ريت مي يو ار فولوينج اوكي فتبغى تبغى اكتيفيتد وبعد ما يصير اكتيفيتد تبغى خلاص يكون له نص لهاف لايف وبعد كده ينتهي الايفكت حقه طيب سو فاكتور 10 ويل بي اكتيفيتد ثرو ذا ايفكت اوف كالسيوم ان اكتيفيتد فاكتور 8 يتحول لاكتيفيتد فاكتور 10 بعد كده فاكتور 10 يقوم يديك 2 وبعدين 2 يقوم يسوي كروس لينكينج للفايبرين للفايبرين يسوي كروس لينكينج بانه يشغل الثرومبين اوكي وبعد ما يشغل الثرومبين الثرومبين يقوم ايش يقوم يسوي؟ يقوم يحول الفايبرين اللي في البلد لفايبرين وفي نفس الوقت يسوي له كروس لينكينج فيكون زي الشبكه خلاص؟ اوكي؟ طيب لو صار عندي ميوتيشن مثلا في فاكتور خلينا نروح للكومن ميوتيشن مثلا الكومن ميوتيشن اللي هو فاكتور 5 خلاص فاكتور 5 سو فاكتور 5 ايش اللي حيصير له لما يصير له اكتيفيشن لما يكون ميوتيتد ايش اللي حيحصل ايه انا بسالكم لما يكون فاكتور 5 ميوتيتد ايش اللي حيحصل له؟ بالضبط بريزيستنت اكتيفيشن ليش؟ لانه يصير الانتي كواجلنتس ما هي قادره تكسره اوكي لانه ميوتيتد فيصير بريزيستنت اكتيفيشن اوكي وكذلك قس على غيره اذا انت فهمت الكونسبت هذا اندرستاندنج الهايبر كواجلبل ستيت ويل بي ان ايزي ثينج ات ويل نوت بي هارد اوكي سو اجين انترنزك باثوي اكسترنزك باثوي إذا تبي تحفظ الفاكتور حق الاكسترنسيك باثوي دائما افتكر فاكتور 7 اوكي فاكتور 7 طبعا فاكتور 7 يتصنع في الليفر اه اوكي اند ذن يو هاف ذيس كومون باثوي اللي هو ميدييتد مينلي باي فاكتور 10 اند ريزلتس ان اكتيفيشن اوف ثرومبين اللي هو فاكتور 2 اوكي okay? من 10 ل 2 وهنا في الاكسترنسيك باثوي عندنا فاكتور 7 وهنا الانترنسيك باثوي اللي هو uh, Uh, not related to uh, tissue injury. It's mainly due to other uh, factors that activate Hegman factor. The result in the result of 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 Okay, you're good. خلاص يصير نخيا نرجع للPowerPoint. Let's go back to our PowerPoint. طيب اتكلمنا على الميوتيتد فاكتور 5 ريمينز اكتيفيتد 
not cleaved by protein uh, C. نفس الشيء يتخيل أحد يتولد مثلا ب deficiency of protein C. إيش اللي حيصير له؟ يعني حتى لو الفاكتور 5 اللي عنده نورمال الفاكتور البروتين سي ما حيقدر يكسر الفاكتور 5. اوكي؟ طيب ديفيشنسي اوف انتي كوجلاند قلنا بروتين سي ان اس ديفيشنسي وهذول اولسو سينثسايز باي ذا ليفر باي ذا واي ان انتي ثرومين 3. ان بريجنسي از ا ريزلت اوف انكريست استروجين ذير از انكريست سينثسيس اوف كوجليشن فاكتور اند ديكريست سينثسيس اوف انتي ثرومين 3 عشان كده Uh, pregnant uh, ladies, pregnant ladies uh, might be prone to develop uh, thrombosis, okay, and the deep vein of thrombosis. Patients who have trauma, surgery, burns, also have uh, hypercoagulability. Cancer patient, uh, some uh, certain cancer types, especially mucinous cancer types, they uh, mucinous carcinoma of the pancreas, or أحيانا mucinous carcinoma of the bowel of the colon, uh, can. The mucin itself has pro-coagulant uh, uh, properties, and what happens when this mucin reaches um, uh, reaches the the, the blood vessels, uh, reaches the venous drainage? They will have patients will have a clinical condition called migratory uh, thrombophlebitis. So oh, who the first who described it was Brousset syndrome, and this can be as a matter of fact the first presentation of these patients. So in patients who have migratory uh, thrombophlebitis, you, you have to consider underlying malignancy as a cause, okay? As a cause of this uh, hypercoagulability. Fine, okay, Niji Kidali, what does a thrombus look like? Okay, what does a thrombus look like? So a thrombus looks like layers, okay? Most importantly, layers. Shaif al layers hadi, shaifin al layer hadi, lara bashir alayha, ish al layer di, ahad indi fikra. Adi, this is under the microscope. So this is the methoxylinducing stained section. So what am I pointing at? What is this layer? هذا اللي أنا بأشر عليه red blood cells. شايفة هذه red blood cells. تحتها اللي تيل هذه إيش هي؟ platelets. ممتاز هذه اللاير هذه اللي مور تيل اللي هي تتكون من البلاتلتس والفايبرين اوكي بلاتلتس اند فايبرين بلاتلتس اند فايبرين تعرفوا بس عشان اربط لكم اياها بشيء ما حتنسوه تبغوا اربط لكم اياها بحاجه ما تنسوها وعشان رمضان كمان قريب Yes, there will break. شايف ال ال break لما ال ال تذكر في ال break لو تذكر في ال break كيف يعملوا ال break ال break يعملوا طبقات صح؟ طبقة من اللي هي من الرقاق هذا بعدين طبقة مفرومة وبيض وwhatever وبعدين طبقة ثانية. الثروم بس تتكون بنفس الطريقة، okay? So you have layers of fibrin and platelet, which is the whitish area, the pale areas, here, here, and then red areas, here, which is the red blood cell. So these were described in thrombi, these layers, and they were called lines of Zan, lines of Zan, okay? Lines of Zan, here, we see them more than anything. في الأماكن اللي فيها هاي فلو بمعنى you tend to see it more في ال arterial thrombi okay you tend to see lines of Zan in arterial thrombi okay Okay, question. Questions? Lines of Zan. Break. Tabaka Hamra, the red blood cell. Tabaka Beva, the platelets, will fibrin. Okay. Mostly in arterial thrombi. Okay. 
you know, just to show you again, um, shine for layering. So whitish layer and reddish layer, white, red, white, red. Okay, what are the outcomes of thrombosis? Let's say thrombosis happened, okay? You have to put in mind, you know, thrombi are occurring in our body. So the, the balance between um, coagulation and anticoagulation, uh, uh, yeah, the best example that you can think about is the balance scale, okay? So the scale has to be pointed in the center. If you have um, equilibrium between uh, coagulant or procoagulant and anticoagulant, okay? If this balance tips, so if you have more anticoagulant effect more than coagulant, ايش اللي حيحصل؟ ايوه ايش اللي حيحصل؟ Bleeding, yes. And if you have more, more, um, uh, more coagulant effect more than anticoagulant, the hasir is thrombosis. So it's a continuous process. So a thrombus might undergo a resolution or dissolution uh, because we have an intrinsic fibrinolysis system within our body as part of our homeostasis to uh, prevent. Uh, uh, development of thrombosis and to also um, deal with uh, small thrombi if they happen, okay? Or on the other hand, the thrombus might propagate. So the propagate means it will become larger, become bigger and extend further inside the blood vessel, okay? And so it might extend further into the blood vessel and cause obstruction of the blood vessel, okay? a portion of the thrombus might break. And if a portion of the thrombus breaks or dislodges from a site of, a th from, the main, from the primary site of the thrombus and goes downstream and blocks other vessels, we call this embolism, embolization, okay? Okay, so that's a possibility. The other possibility is that this thrombus might form locally, but your body will, it couldn't prevent it, but it will try to deal with it locally. How will it try to deal with it locally? By inflammation and fibrosis. And we call this process organization, okay? And when the thrombus becomes organized after some time, you will have channels developing through this organized thrombus and we call this recanalization. Okay, recanalization. Hmm? Okay, why? What's the purpose of this? You want to resume the blood flow. You don't want blood flow to be interrupted. the outcomes of thrombosis. chat. Just simple words. Okay. أحد يقدر يلخص لي outcomes of thrombosis in simple words. يبيتكلم على المايك أو يبيكتبها براحته. Okay. Dissolves. Breaks into what? An embolus. Or organized by inflammation and fibrosis. Or recanalization or progress by propagation, okay? So either resolve and dissolve, or progress and propagate, or break off and embolize, or organize by inflammation and fibrosis, or recanalize. واضح ولا عيد؟ Okay, good. طيب. So here, just just illustration to show you, so you can remember. 
the outcomes of uh, thrombosis. So this is an example of a thrombus that occurred in the iliac vein. So the thrombus can either propagate and when it propagates in the venous system, it will propagate towards the heart. An arterial thrombus, when it uh, ما في مشكلة ترى بس على فكرة ما بيجي كثير ما ما بيجي كثير ممكن لو بغيتوا نخلص الآن أخلص لكم التوبيك كله خلاص okay so can propagate um, or it can break off and embolize and embolize in the lung causing pulmonary infarction uh, or organize in the wall and undergo recanalization. Okay. So what are the symptoms of thrombosis? So uh, in venous thrombi uh, occurs in, uh, they are more common in superficial and deep uh, veins of the leg, mainly the popliteal vein also is the um, most important site for deep venous thrombosis. So uh, patients will have swelling, pain, and tenderness, uh, develop ulceration, and these can embolize to the lung. Arterial thrombi, on the other hand, um, uh, cause tissue infarction and can embolize. And when they embolize, they uh, embolize downstream, okay? Uh, not like venous thrombi. So venous thrombi will uh, embolize towards the direction of the heart while arterial away from the heart, okay? طيب, so uh, complications of thrombosis, uh, infarction, uh, obstruction, embolization. Uh, thrombi are fertile ground uh, for uh, bacterial growth. They can undergo infection. And if uh, an, an, an infected uh, uh, thrombus embolizes, we call it septic thrombi or can cause uh, thrombophlebitis if they involve the wall of the vessel. So emboli, what is emboli? Emboli is detached uh, intravascular, muhimma jiddan kilmat intravascular, solid liquid or gas uh, mass carried from the blood, uh, carried by the blood from the site of origin to other parts of the body. Well, embolus can be either uh, thrombotic from a thrombus or can become uh, can be a solid object such as uh, a foreign object, a uh, bullet in a uh, case of war, or can be gas, or can be amniotic fluid. Um, so what is embolism? Embolism is the sudden occlusion of a blood vessel by an embolus. Embolism. So according to the type of material forming the emboli, they can be classified. طبعاً the most common of all compared to thromboemboli, and خلاص افتكروا ثرومبو امبولاي the most common type of embolism okay and so this is an example of uh, pulmonary uh, embolus so the origin of a pulmonary uh, embolus is most of the time uh, deep vein uh, deep venous thrombosis uh, the, the outcome will depend on the size so if it's big patient might die suddenly uh, or if it's uh, small and tiny they can be asymptomatic uh, so most of the time they are clinically silent. A uh, few times they cause uh, sudden death. Okay. Uh, systemic thromboemboli. So these are emboli that uh, originate in the arterial circulation or the heart. And they can embolize to different body organs downstream. So they embolize away from the heart. Uh, most common uh, site is lower extremity. Okay. طيب uh, other types of fat emboli هذه افتكروها لانه يحبوا يسالوا عليها uh, تحصل اكثر شيء في long bone fracture uh, and what happens is that uh, fat containing fatty acids uh, enter the circulation cause endothelial injury and they embolize in the lung they uh, fatty acid also activates platelets so they have thrombocytopenia and they can also have neurologic abnormalities uh, air emboli that's why when they give uh, uh, a drug uh, by means of a needle to someone, they try to uh, get out as much air as possible. Uh, but this used to happen uh, in the past uh, when uh, they did not have uh, good technology with uh, sealing uh, uh, of fluid in a closed system away from air. Uh, you can see it also in divers and nasal viruhul uh, 
ممكن uh, when they get nitrogen bubbles they can get uh, air emboli and can be seen also with obstetric procedure uh, amniotic fluid embolism يحصل في um, uh, pregnant uh, woman when amniotic uh, fluid uh, goes into the uh, uh, blood circulation and am amnion contains uh, procoagulant factors okay infarction so خلينا نشوف كم سلايد باقي بس عشان اوه واو I think we have a good number طيب uh, should we stop here you think should we stop here يا شباب <laughs> okay so when do you want us to get back on this if you can ما كان عندكم مانع علينا سبكم بكرة الساعة خمسة مثلا ما أدري على الريكوردين حقيقة أنا المشكلة الريكورد ما والله ما أنا متأكد حقيقة إذا كان في طريقة أقدر أسوي الريكوردين بس من السلايد محل ما وقفنا ونروح الباقية ما أدري بس لو بغيتوا بكرة الساعة خمسة ممتاز أنا يعني my aim is since it's working at يعني um, how many of you like uh, the way the lecture was given uh, through Zoom So you think it's a good way. So uh, tomorrow, I think five is reasonable. Yeah, five is reasonable. We can discuss it. And um, my my aim here is I want you to understand uh, whatever you uh, will understand here uh, during our discussion, rather than have you and uh, I mean certainly you'll have to go and sort of read more and uh, expand your breadth and depth of knowledge on these topics. Like in. Uh, the, the more deeper discussion we go to and share our thoughts, I think um, the more likely you will remember what we talked about. فنقول موعدنا إن شاء الله الساعة خمسة غدا بإذن الله تعالى لمدة ساعتين معلش عندي استفسار للجروب ليدر Um, I'd like to speak to the group leader just on private who موجود لسه ولا اي هلا ايوه كيف حالك الحمد لله موجود الله يسلمك معلش انا عندي استفسار بخصوص الطالبات مين بيديهم اللكتشرز نفس التوبيك سادي والله ما عندي خلفيه لكن ممكن يعني تجيهم مسجله لكن ممكن آه. اسال يعني هي ما ادري انا يعني انا اي هاف ان اكونت الان اي هاف ا برو اكونت ويتش كان هولد 100 100 بيرسون فبدل 